Hi, it's Mark, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. Today we're going to show you how to install the Model Y Cargo Bay Cover. This is the box you'll receive from us. It's 48 inches long. We're going to show you how to install this entire thing in five minutes. Inside, you're going to find two pieces. One is going to be the attachment brackets, or the four pieces. And the other is going to be the main bar. The main bar with the retractable end. So let's just leave this in the box. This will install last. And then we're going to talk about these four pieces that we're going to attach with double-sided tape to the side of your car. So let's just walk over and uh, check out everything in the trunk. Now all you're going to need to install this is just simply um, rubbing alcohol or any kind of cleaner. We just want to make sure that we're not going to have any dirt or grease that might uh, interfere with the adherence. So just squirt a rag and wipe the four areas where we're going to install it, which include under the seat belts, the rear corner panel, this area by the first switch, and again underneath this seat belt. And again, right now we got a nice clean look in the car, and um, we want to show you how we're going to support the shelf. And let's take a look at what we got. So you're going to find four pieces. One, two, three, four, and a special tool to pick off the double-sided tape. So what are these pieces and what are they for? Well, this is obviously the first one, which has the cutout for the seat, which is going to sit just like this, which is going to support the bar hook. So that's going to fit in there nice like that, still look really original. And on this side is the opposite. Okay, these are the two front pieces that are going to support the main bar. And you'll notice that they are, are actually going to work horizontally, of course. And they're going to fit like this. So this is going to tuck right under the seat belt, just like that. And it fits right on this radius, perfect. And again, we're just kind of walking everyone through this so they know where the pieces go. And then we're going to do the quick install, just like that. So let's start with the main bar. And um, we'll start with the driver's side. So uh, we've already cleaned the area. So take your little orange piece and pick it. And peel it off. We'll have each of these done in under a minute. So we should be under five minutes with the full installation. So once you get started, peel all this double-sided tape off. And if you ever need to remove this for any reason, leasing it, whatever, you heat it up with a heat gun and you can pull this off. So don't think this is permanent. It's non-permanent, non-invasive. Okay, so we're just gonna stick it right on and hook it on the seat belt. Opening. Put it just like this, stick it right on there. Now we're gonna apply some pressure. Now once you hook the bar up, it's gonna apply more outward pressure but just stick it down like this and you'll see how your seat belt doesn't interfere with anything. It actually keeps it a little suspended further away. I notice mine doesn't make any seat belt rubbing noise at all. Okay, that's in place. Now we'll do the right side. And then we're gonna put the bar in place because the bar is gonna exert some outward pressure. So it'll make it really easy. Just peel it and peel and stick. So again, we're going right under the seat belt. Okay, good, you're on that side, all right. <laughs> under the seat belt, just like this. Hook it, stick it, if it's right on the radius, there's only one place it goes. Push it in place, and put some pressure on it. Now, let's get the main bar, and we're gonna insert the main bar, and you'll see how that puts a little more pressure on it. Okay, so when you take the main retractable bar out, you want to make sure you don't see screws so uh, this is the side where the screws are for the assembly and this is the top no screws up now just insert one half in one side just like that you can actually rest it like this right inside right on the bottom then come over to the other side and then you'll notice that it's almost fits so just push it away and it locks down now like I said, this is going to put a lot of pressure on it. So all this double-sided adhesive is going to bond to the plastic. And you'll see we're halfway done. Okay, so let's go over to the next piece. So take a look at how it, uh, how it works. 
Obviously the hooks have to work so you can hook over. So this piece, before we remove the tape, is gonna fit right here where the subwoofer is. It's gonna fit just like this. So you'll notice that it's gonna fit under the rubber seal all the way up here. So just lift the rubber seal up for the trunk, stick it underneath, and that's right where it's gonna fit. So now it almost stays on by itself. <laughs> But let's pull the tape off and um, we'll stick it down. So again, we covered the entire ABS plastic piece with double-sided tape. So it's, it's completely covered. Now you're gonna hook it back up here and you'll see it'll just magically line up because now it's not sticking yet. And you put it right there and you move it back and forth, find the exact spot where it meets this radius and stick. Oop. Sorry about that. Find the exact spot where this fits under the rubber and it fits under here. And you push upward and outward. And that's it. We'll have no issues with clearance or anything like that. Now again, activate the pressure sensitive adhesive with pressure. And push it all the way up. Make sure the seal is over the plastic, just like this some pressure and now let's uh, spin around and put on the other piece and this side of course is in the same location as the buttons to recline the seats so we always say take a look at where it's gonna go before you try to put it on so this one again is gonna fit right over the button for your reclining seat so it, it doesn't interfere Seats still recline. Just gonna grab it. All right, so we're gonna peel the tape off next. Cover side one, we have the double sided adhesive tape in two locations, so be sure to pull them both off. We've got one above the switch and one below. So once you pull these off, you're ready to stick it on. So the guide is the switch, obviously. So right on the switch cover there, you want to install it. And we're going to put this under the rubber seal. So you can hold that with one hand and then simply stick it underneath, press and hold. And pull the seal down over the top. So this is super simple because you're fitting it right inside of the switch button. Hopefully it's not too much yellow in there. You can see that. Now, pressure sensitive adhesive needs pressure. Now also, if you have any uh, oil or grease, or maybe your car detailer uses armor roll or anything, you're gonna need to get the oil off. This stuff is not gonna stick well uh, if you have any oil or residue on it. So be sure to use the rubbing alcohol and be sure to clean it really good and just keep scrubbing it until you see the um, alcohol uh, or the greasiness disappear. So you just gotta get off any kind of oils or grease that's underneath these four locations before you put it on. And also another test to make sure it's sticking good is our, call, we call it our tick test. So the tape is here and here, so press it. If you hear a ticking sound, it's not sticking or it's not bonding. So you need to apply pressure. So just push on it and keep applying it and applying it until the sticky tick sound uh, goes away. All right, we're ready to go. So one more thing, let's look at the seats here real quick. So of course this is great and awesome, but we want you to know that the bar location will not interfere with the reclining of your seats. So this is the double seat. And it's all the way back it doesn't touch at all same thing with the single seat so you have no clearance issues um, again if you want to take it out you just lift it out put it down below anytime you want to put it back in just drop one side all the way down go over to the other side and pull back and drop it in it fits that great the tolerances are nice and tight and now we're gonna show you how to use it. So, hop out of your car. And 
Now, um, we also wanted to talk real quick about the end of this piece. So the end of the pegs that hold in have felt on them because we don't want them to scratch. But you can scratch if you don't follow what we have learned. So whenever you want to cover up your cargo area, just simply raise it up. You can do it with one hand, raise it up. Keep it up here, keep it up here. Go down towards the rear and underneath the hooks and then hook it. If you do this, you'll never put a mark in the side of your plastic. So again, one more time, retracting, it's like this. Let's shoot from behind me. Retracting, it's to go towards you, down, forward, and up. Not a mark, not a scratch, and actually no contact with our felt covered locking tabs, okay? One more time. Um, forward, up, down and under, and over the locking tabs. That's it. And of course you close your car, open your... No interference issues, it opens perfect. It's great, it's clean, everything matches. Thanks again, and remember, no screws, no drilling required. Not permanent, you can remove it at any time. To retract it, we recommend that you pull forward, under, and up. Okay? To insert, go up, under the hooks, and around. This will eliminate a lot of the uh, potential markings on this side. So if you're going over it, you could mark this up and scratch it. So we know a lot of Tesla customers really want to keep their car in perfect, light new condition. So that's it. Thanks again. Um, it's all inserted. We'll give it back to the customer. RPM Tesla aftermarket accessories in stock now. Okay, troubleshooting, troubleshooting. The only possible troubleshooting we can foresee would be with the uh, adherence of the plastic pieces in the Tesla. Uh, this Tesla customer's car just came from detail and Tesla likes to wipe things down. Also car wash guys like to wipe things down so it can be greasy. So again, we talked about using the alcohol to make sure you clean the plastic so we get a strong bond. But another thing we can do, and we're gonna include these with each kit, is adhesive promoter. Adhesive promoter promotes the adhesiveness of the double-sided tape to any mating surface like this plastic. So this is what we recommend you do. We might give you one or two of these. There is a big shortage of them. And uh, you're simply gonna use the adhesive promoter in the location where it's gonna go, and you're gonna wipe it on. It's just a slightly wet, damp solution that we're gonna wipe right on here, just like this, um, help the bonding. Then we're going to install it right underneath the lip, like this, like we did earlier. Find the location by sliding it downward, and that's it. It fits perfect. Now just apply some pressure. Again, we'll do the tick test, or the stick test. It's really grabbing now, it's real strong. This one actually wasn't holding on very well. So again, this uh, adhesive primer or adhesive promoter really works great. We'll try to include one or two in each one, but don't use it unless you're having an issue with it sticking good. That, that's on there really strong. So again, uh, that's it. Thanks again. That's the only troubleshooting. You might need it here or here or here. We did use a little bit underneath the seatbelt area. It all depends on how much oil and grease. So if you look at the plastic in your car, if it looks shiny and greasy, you may need to use this. Um, thanks again, RPM Tesla Market Accessories. This is Mark, and uh, we appreciate you watching, and thank you for your business.